video I'm going to show you how to highlight weekends in the days of the year. So the first task we're going to do is to list all the days of the year. Then after that, we highlight the weekends in those days of the year. So let's start off by listing all the days in the year. So I'm going to use a Google Sheet function called sequence and it takes the first argument as rows. So I'm looking at all the days in the year and each day will be in a separate row. Therefore, I'm going to have 365 rows, comma. The number of columns will be one because I want a list going downward. Then the start date, where we start will be 1st of January, 2022. So I'll say date, the year, month, and the date, the comma, the step is by how much are we moving from one value to the next value? We're moving by one, meaning that if I start with 1st January, 2022, next will be plus one, I go to 2nd January, 2022, then plus one, third January, 2022. So when I close my brackets, the sequence of function will list for me all the days of the year. So all I have to do to format this date, sorry, I wanted 2022. So all I have to do is format the dates, then go formatting, or you can choose this date, say okay and then they'll be formatted as you can see. So when I go down, I'll see that the last day of the year I have here is 31st December, 2022. Second task we are need to accomplish is to highlight the weekends in these dates. So I need to use conditional formatting and I'm gonna use the custom formula to achieve this. So I'm going to take it step by step so that you understand what I'm doing. I have weekday function. If I give it a date and I close it there, you're going to see that don't return a one and seven. It by default start counting the weekdays from Sunday. So Sunday will be a one, Monday will be two, Tuesday would be three, and then Saturday would be seven. So the weekends will be one and seven. So whatever there is one is a Sunday, and where there is seven is a Saturday. So I know my weekends have one and seven. Now, the formula I use in conditional formatting must return true, so that it highlights that data or false, then it doesn't highlight the data. So the formula I can think of that I can accomplish this is the all function. If I say all this is equal to one, or the value there is equal to a seven. Why one and seven? Because one and seven represent, one represents a Sunday and seven represents a Saturday, which both have to be true for me to highlight days of the weekend. When I do that, you see that where there's one and seven is true, where there's one and seven is true, everywhere like so. Now I'm going to use this in my conditional formatting long formula. But before I do that, I need to combine this function in column D with what I have in column E. So I'm going to pick what I have in column D, copy that, escape, come here. So where is D? I'm going to put my formula I copied, like so. 
then control D, copy it down. So having done that, you see that nothing changes. So I don't even need whatever is in column D. So I'm going to copy this formula and then I, I'll be able to use it in conditional formatting. So I'm say control C, escape, highlight the data that I want to format, control shift down, go under formatting, conditional formatting. I'm gonna use the custom formula, which is right there. Control V, I paste my formula I copied. I change my color to what I want. I want to change the text to white. Then I say, okay. So as you can see, the weekends are going to be highlighted blue. Saturday first, then Sunday. Then you count the five days of the week, then Saturday, then Sunday, then another five days of the week, Saturday, Sunday, and so on. So this is how you can accomplish task. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Like the video, give me your comments, and see you in the next video. Otherwise, have a great day. Thank you.